Alright, hey guys, Special Randall again, and I just want to do a quick review of Revo. Um, I've used Revo free for many years, and I just the other day decided to try to evaluate the Revo Pro, and pretty happy with it. I think I'm going to buy it when the evaluation expires in a few days, but I'll give you a quick uh, uh, tour, or no, a quick uh, review of it, show you how good it does it, uh, removing programs a lot better than the uh, Windows version. So, if a program, you know, you get in those tricky programs, which you don't have this option of uh, forced uninstall. There's tricky programs that like to stick themselves in there and find different ways to uh, latch into your system. But um, this one, Steam put in this Worms Revolution. I deleted it with Windows uninstall. You can see it's still hanging out there. So still forced uninstall on. Well, I do a regular uninstall on it. You can see that works. Yeah, it's uh, so first it performs initial analysis and it uh, takes a little bit. It looks through the registry, finds out what's there, uh, creates system restore point automatically, so you don't have to worry about doing that yourself. And then uh, it asks you how you want to uh, remove it. Are you an advanced user or moderator? You want to remove it safe, meaning you don't want to get rid of any of the registry items. Moderate, you get rid of most of them. Me personally, I get rid of all. I go with the moderate, not the advanced. Why is Steam starting up here? Give me one second. Look at this. Something's, this thing is, uh, it's like Steam's trying to keep it from uninstalling. Oh no, no, it had to open Steam to, to do it. Alright, so now it deletes it from Steam, goes in for moderate, um, a check on the registry keys and any other junk that it's got in there and look at all this crap um, now it's telling me it's safe to get rid of steam registry I'm not gonna do that um, yeah that's sort of weird usually it won't like I'm not gonna get rid of the Sims 3 usually it won't tell me it goes into the bold items and won't tell me uh, to get rid of things related to other programs. It looks like I might be leaving all the registry stuff here because I'm not going to get rid of uh, my Walking Dead or The Sims 3 here. Huh. Well, sort of weird. The first fail I've seen on this Revo program. I'm just going to leave them all. You have to check them and then you select and delete them, but Nah, I'm not going to do that. Yep, yeah, I want to skip the deletion. It's, now it looks for the leftover files and folders. Make sure there's nothing left like hanging out. Like, you know, some computers will, some programs will leave files in your system or leave folders in your system, and it checks for that too. It lets you delete those if you want to. And it's going to the Steam again. Seems pretty good. I should have probably chose a better program, but I'm going to have to finish up now. I'm not going to delete any of this stuff. Uh, what I will do is delete the studio tags because uh, I can reinstall that one pretty easy. I'll show you one that I know I don't mind removing the registry and installs. There are the registry items and the uh, folder items. So. Um, it opens up the program. I forgot about that. That's why I was opening up Steam. So I was opening up the program here. And now I next I'll remove. So it's going through the program, letting me remove it that way. But in the background, what is it doing? No, I don't want to set you up. Yeah, go away. Yeah, go away. Now I'll do scan. Or scan for any left or right. Alright, here we go. Uh, it usually tells you in the, uh, if you go to late and save version, only delete the bolded items because these items all the way up down uh, have uh, are associated with other files. Now, the one thing I don't like is I wish it, you could say select all bolded items because some programs you'd be surprised how much crap they leave in here. Uh, in different folders, and you could spend 10 minutes in here getting rid of all the registry items. So, um, this one I feel safe getting rid of the bold ones because 
it's not related to other programs. But see, you run into a problem here because folders isn't bolded. So I gotta go through that list and uh, check every single one of them. Big pain in the ass. Well, let's, I'm gonna try something here. I wonder if I can get folders. No. So I got through all this crap. But you can see how much crap this stuff leaves in your registry. So you leave these things in. I think it's 151, 51, 61 keys, I don't know, 151 values. And yeah, you know, this is going to slow down your computer after a while once you get um, all those programs embedded in there. So without a program like this to find all this junk, you end up, God, I'm not even halfway through. Well, I'm going to reinstall this one anyway, so I'm not going to keep going to make you guys suffer through this. Let me uh, just get rid of... Uh, oh, uh, I'm almost done. Anything bolded underneath that is always bolded. Now, nah, I won't go through all these. Yeah. Oh, crap, I forgot to delete them. You have to delete <laughs> Oh, well, I'm installing the whole thing again, so... Um, here you would have a chance. To, I would just usually just select everything um, in the folders up above. I'd select the whole file path and delete it all. But I'm I'm not going to because um, I'm going to reinstall this. I'm using this tech software right now, so I'm finish up here um, and. It's, I'm still showing up under the file menu. I don't know why. I'm not going to keep you guys waiting. Uh, sort of failed here and another fail. Uh, I do like the Revo uninstaller. Uh, I guess maybe it's 5 in the morning, so maybe I'm not thinking straight. But uh, uh, the Revo uninstaller gives you the opportunity to get rid of all the registry items, all the left of folder crap. So you get this file full of these things like add, add to where that uh, they get all over your system and leaves junk everywhere out of where you can get rid of everything even the stuff in the uh, start menu so uh, good program I think it's well worth the money to get pro versus using the free version and I uh, thank you guys for listening I'll talk to you soon